I absolutely love all the technology that we have nowadays. Some of it might feel a little unnecessary, and some are going to say that in today's video, this technology is unnecessary. Until you're a parent and you realize the power that this gives you and the peace of mind that you've obtained through these devices, you're going to realize how important this really is. So today, we're going to be talking about baby monitors. As I mentioned, some people feel that this technology might be unnecessary. And honestly, a lot of people probably feel that my entire channel and everything that we talk about is unnecessary. But if you can find things that make your life easier and give you more peace of mind in your day-to-day -day life, I think it's worth it to have it. I'm not saying it's required, but it is nice to have. This is an overall review of three different baby monitors. Two of them are ones that I've used one of which is one I have not used. If you're a parent, you've heard of SIDS, Sudden Infant Death Syndrome. This can happen to anybody, and even with these devices, it's still possible that this can unfortunately happen to your child. But with these devices, it's taking one step to trying to prevent this from happening. As a parent, you know you generally put your child down before you're ready for bed. Sometimes, not always, and you wanna be able to have some time before going to bed, and these devices give you the ability to monitor your child while having your peace of mind time by yourself. Then when you are asleep, you have the ability to be woken up by notifications or alarms that something might be wrong with your child and you can check on them even in the middle of the night. My parents didn't grow up with these devices. I didn't have these when I was a child, but I do feel it's very important to be able to take advantage of these types of things if you have the ability. I understand that some of these devices are pretty expensive, but if you know anything about an HSA, a health savings account, FSA, which I don't remember what that one stands for, you do have the ability to utilize the funds in those accounts to purchase these. You'll have to talk to your financial advisor or look into your accounts before spending the money. I'm not an expert in this area, but I do just wanna mention that all of the products that we're gonna be talking about today are covered through these accounts. So you have the ability to purchase them fairly easily. One thing before we dive into all of these different ones is a lot of them are going to have similar features. They're going to be app based. They're going to be internet based. They're going to have sleep history tracking. They're going to have cameras. So I'm not going to list out every single feature that might be beneficial to each one because some of them are going to have similar things. What we're looking at are what are unique to a specific company? Which one, what do they have that's super unique? to their own. The first two companies that we're going to be talking about are Nanit and Owlet. Both of these are ones that I have personally used myself. The Nanit was the first one that we purchased, so we're going to jump into that one first and then the Owlet. Stay tuned at the end to find out which bonus one you should be considering for your children. Now the first one that we purchased was the Nanit. And the reason why was because my wife didn't want to have to put any fancy technology or wires or something that was emitting some type of special infrared sensor or anything like that on our child or our children whenever they were small. So we ended up going with the Nanit. And I'll explain how it works in a moment. In the end, we ended up getting an outlet as well because we found out that there were some other really beneficial things for having them. And I'll explain what those are when we get to it. But first, let's talk about Nanit. Nanit is simply a camera. Most of these all start with a camera and they have various features included in their cameras. But what I really love about the Nanit is how it's a removable camera from its base. So you can get the crib attachment, which attaches to a wall and has a big, nice long arm to be able to see over the crib. I love the field of view on these cameras because I can see almost the entirety of my daughter's room through this camera. And it of course has night vision. The camera also boasts the major, the main portion of it, this all this area here is a night light, as well as it has speakers to emit sounds, various sounds like kind of like white noise type stuff. The Nanit also has the ability to connect to its mobile base station. So the base here has the screw on the bottom, so you could put it on a tripod and move it around wherever, or it's heavy enough that whenever you connect the monitor or the camera to it, you can tip it over and it still balances itself. And you can see here, I mean, I'm balancing it on my fingers here and it's holding up very well. 
I've put this on top of my bed frame before. We've moved it downstairs in our house. It's just a USB-A on one end, so you just need some type of lock to be able to plug it into the wall. The cord on the base is very, very long. You can see how most of it, that's not even all of it. From there, you can control this through an app, and it gives you all different types of tracking that you can give. You can do breathing, you can do growth measurements. You can also go back in time and see different memories through your app. Now what's also super unique about the Nanit is there's no technical wires involved in it. I'm gonna show you what the breathing wear looks like is what they call it. It's just this big fabric and it's got Velcro here and here, and it just wraps around the torso of the baby. You can see on here as well, how it gets put on there. And what's also really great about the Nanit as to why we also chose the Nanit was because it gave us the ability to keep monitoring up to 24 months old. Now, most of the other ones only go up to 18 months. There are some really awesome features built into those. And this one simply is just breathing. It's not actual heart rate monitoring or O2 stat monitoring, which is very beneficial to have but my wife really didn't want that type of technology on our small infant. She thought it might harm them. So what you do with this one is just wrap it around the torso of the baby. You could see there on the instructions. And then when you turn on the mark monitoring, it's gonna give you a per minute how many breaths they're taking. Now what's really cool about this is once you spend some time with it and look at it, you actually know generally what the breaths per minute are for when your child is asleep and deep asleep. So my child falls around the low 20 breaths per minute, and that's when I know he's fallen asleep, or my daughter, whenever it was, she was the one utilizing this. So we could track when we're trying to get them to sleep, and they're up in the high 20s and the 30s or something breaths per minute, and then all of a sudden it starts to fall, we know that they're falling asleep, and then when it drops even lower that they're even further asleep. Whenever they would the machine would think that they've stopped breathing, then it would give us an obnoxious notification. I think it only happened once or twice where it thought our daughter wasn't breathing in her sleep. It woke us up. We went and checked on her. She was perfectly fine. If it also thinks their face might be covered, then it also will give you notification. There are some various times where you do receive false notifications. Most of that happens because there's an internet connectivity problem. And so it drops the connection for a brief time and it thinks that they're not breathing. But overall, we've been very satisfied with the connectivity. The major complaints that I have with the device are three things. One is the subscription. I'm not a big fan. I've already paid for it once. Why do I need to keep paying monthly just to be able to access some of the major features that you're boasting about your product? So that's a little bit of a frustration for me. The second complaint I have is the shapes on it. Because it's monitoring these shapes, there's a chance that the sheets you have on the bed will interfere with the device and it won't allow you to actually monitor the breathing. And then lastly is the internet connectivity problem. As I mentioned, I have problems with it disconnecting at times, though it could just be my internet. But again, the fact that it does disconnect semi-often can be very frustrating. Overall, I'm very happy with what the Nanit has to offer. It comes with three of these bands, you get the base station, you get the wall mounted station, and you get the camera, all for less than $300 is pretty good in my eyes. Again, that subscription though does come at a cost. Though, you do get one year of the device subscription for free in most cases whenever you do purchase it. I would strongly encourage you to look at purchasing a Nanit, it is a great device to have for your baby. Now, the second one that I wanna look at is called the Outlet. And simply what the Outlet is, is a camera, which we didn't purchase, but it's mostly this sleep sock is what they call it. It's this little device right here. It gives you the ability to monitor their O2 stats as well as their heart rate. It slips right into their sleep sock. This just Velcros together and wraps around their foot and their ankle and then monitors them while they sleep. It's super minimal and isn't very distracting. I remember when we first put it on my son a couple times, he was wondering what it was, but after a while, he was perfectly okay with it. I absolutely love the features that it gives me. I like being able to see real-time data besides just something that might be called a breathe, or breaths per minute per se, which isn't really data. This is actually monitoring heart rate as well as O2 stats. You also get some really great insights into how well your baby's sleeping when they're in deep sleep throughout the night based on the data that it's providing. The app overall gives you the same things that the Nanit does, 
but there's a few extra things that come along with the fact that it's O2 and heart rate that they're monitoring. Now what's included as well is this sleep sock, and then you also get three of these, but this base station. So the base station is how it charges, so it just clips into it. It's a little magnetic on that circle there. It just clips in there. This is generally going to sit on your nightstand. It plugs in and charges, and then it, whenever it's sitting on there and it makes noise, you can just click it to make it stop. This visual ring right here will light up whenever your child is okay, but if there's a problem, it's going to turn red and then start yelling at you to wake up and go check on your child. One of the drawbacks around this is that if there is too much movement, then this will actually go off. So you have to put this on when your child is ready to go to bed, not when you're getting them ready for bed. And maybe you're reading them a nighttime story or something, and then they're running around a little bit. It's one of those things you really got to wait till the last minute so that this doesn't start yelling at you too early on because then we're having to like get out of their room, run to our bedroom and press the thing to turn it off to stop it yelling at us. You also get app notifications as well. Now, one of the drawbacks to this is a little bit of its price, but again, you're putting real technology on your child versus something that is just monitoring motion. So again, this does have some benefits to it because of that extra technology you're going to get. You're going to pay a little bit more for it, but overall, you're going to get some really cool insights. Now, the other thing you'll get with these sleep socks is different sizes. They come in different sizes for you so that as your child grows, you can put one that fits a little bit better because you want it to be snug, but not too tight for them. And the big drawback is it only goes up to 18 months, so one and a half. Nanit goes up to 24 months, two years of age. So you're getting a whole extra six months for your money versus that 18 months. But again, there's certain things you're getting that are a little more beneficial. What is really cool about the Nanit though is there is no subscription cost. So it's a one-time pay to be able to get all of those features. Overall, the outlet might be less expensive than the Nanit because you're not having to pay additional subscription costs. One of the big cons is again, connectivity. Most internet devices have a chance to drop, but this and this are talking via Bluetooth, not the internet. So the connectivity between these two might be pretty good. So this will remind you, whereas the phone connectivity is the one that is going to run into a problem, whereas this one has no base station. So if it disconnects, it's because of your internet and only the app can tell you that. One of the other cons that might go along with the sleep sock outlet one is the comfortability of your child. As I mentioned, my son was very confused when we first started putting this on him and he would usually pull at it and almost take it off at times. He was almost 18 months at that point, but he still would notice it and try and, and it, look, it just looked uncomfortable. It's a very odd thing to be putting on your child. This part right here, this part right here is also fairly stiff. You can see it flexes here, but this is a hard, hard piece of plastic and metal and everything that is in this. So this can be very uncomfortable. This is all just fabric, you can see, and it again wraps around their torso. So he'd look at it kind of funny, but he wasn't didn't care too much about it because it wasn't in his way as much. Now, time for the bonus one. This is a company that I really love their products on. I utilize their doorbell, I utilize their cameras, and it is a company called Eufy. I believe that's how you pronounce it, Eufy, Eufy, I don't know. I hear all kinds of different names for it. I call it Eufy. That's what we're going with. But Eufy is very similar to Owlet. And they have a sleep sock. It has a little base that it comes with. And it has the same functionalities. But what's different about it is its price. The Eufy is significantly less expensive. And it still doesn't have a subscription cost. Now, this is the only one I haven't been able to utilize myself. And if I remember correctly, this one was not out on the market whenever we were shopping around for our baby monitor. But when I started doing some research, I found this one and I looked into it and I really, really liked it. One of the other great things that I liked about the Eufy one was the distance at which this device, the base station, could be away from the sleep sock. The Eufy one had the ability to go further away, even though it was a Bluetooth connection, than this one, because this is Bluetooth and the Eufy was not. The other thing about the Eufy one was the size of the base. The base was larger and had a better speaker built into it, and it had almost the same functionality as what this one is. The Eufy, the Eufy one also comes with multiple sleep socks. It tracks O2. It tracks heart rate. So there's a lot of really great things in the Eufy one for a lower price than what the Outlet one has. And it also still comes with the camera. You can get the base stations, you can make it mobile, 
all different types of things. So I think the Eufy is just a really great consideration. It should be one that you look at whenever you're considering your purchase. Now these three devices aren't the only ones that you should be considering. There are other companies out there. There's one called there's one out there called Q, Cubano AI. I can't remember what it was. I'll, I'll put a link on the screen here for it. But it was a really interesting one. There was like a pad that the baby slept on and then it used the camera and pressure sensing and all that type of stuff. It was a, a, a more of a unique one on the market, but I just wanted to really stick with some of the ones that we've utilized before and throw those out there as ones that you should be considering purchasing. Now, overall, some of these devices have very similar features. It's a couple standalone things that are going to make it different. The two major ones that we've looked at are different are O2 and heart rate men monitoring through a sleep sock or Nanit's breathe wear and their monitoring through motion. The Eufy one and the Outlet one, as I said earlier, are also very similar. So it's up to you which one you feel is more beneficial to you, but I would still consider looking at both of them and seeing what they have to offer. The big thing that these are gonna come down to are price. I also mentioned earlier, that HSA and FSA have the ability to help you purchase these devices. So I'd strongly consider you looking into those. So if you can save money, it's always a great option. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope I've given you some insight in some, into some technology that makes our life better and easier and gives us some peace of mind. That's the overall goal with this channel is to give you insights into ways to make your life easier. As somebody with small children, I love the ability to monitor my children, my child while they're sleeping. There are some generic baby monitors out there, but the ability to track breathing, track heart rate, these are huge game changers in today's world. So I'd encourage you to look into them. I know they're expensive, but it's definitely worth it because SIDS is real and I never want somebody to have to go through that. This isn't going to prevent it, but it's one step closer to making it not happen as often. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. If you've enjoyed it, I'd love it if you'd hit the like button, hit that subscribe button for me. Tell me which one you've purchased or if you're considering purchasing one or if this video helped you out in making a decision on which one you want. Thank you so much. My name's Ian. We'll see you guys in the future. Bye-bye.